okay in the second half. You know, last week was easy, and then two weeks ago was easy, and then you come into this week where you got all kinds of excuses not to play well. You know, like, you know, had to cancel the man trip. We had, you know, bad weather. It was cold. It was wet. Uh, the environment was terrible. Uh, you know, it was relatively early. Maybe you didn't respect your opponent. No matter what the excuses were, our players didn't buy into it. But obviously our fan base did, you know. So, you know, whatever our expectations are with our players as far as preparing every week and going to the game and playing their best, I, you know, highly, uh, highly encourage our, our students and our support uh, to take the same approach. You know, you only get seven opportunities a week or seven opportunities a year. What's so hard about it? Is it too cold? It wasn't too cold for our players. It wasn't too cold for our coaches or managers or trainers. They were out there. So why did we have 20,000 people less of this one than we did last week? You know, and, and, and the funny part about it is we're all talking two weeks ago about, you know, how much difference the fans and the, the, the crowds, you know, make uh, to the LSU people. Well, LSU, you know, played well in front of, in front of 62,000 of our people and then turned around and went, went home and played a one in four Kentucky team at noon and had 95,000 people there. You want to talk about an elite program, that's one. I don't know about this place. Fixes? Is it, I mean, you have to get out there and beat the ground a little louder, or is it just something that oh. if you're 10 and one, for example, they just show up and maybe not when they're it's a good question. I'm new here. You guys aren't. You know, I just see it. I just call it like I see it. I mean, you guys know me pretty well by now. I'm just gonna go ahead and say what I think. So, you know, all, all I heard in the off season, I did get out there and beat the drum down. I talked about how important it is to our athletic department and our players and our coaches to have have support. You know, and all I heard about was was how big of a uh, uh, how much this meant to everybody across the state of West Virginia. And you know, this was the NFL team here in town, and and. Uh, we're going to be there to support you. Well, having 40,000 people at a game isn't isn't doing that, you know. And, and the only thing we can do about it is, and which is why I'm talking about it now. I mean, the only thing we can do about it is is fix it, you know. Which we do our best every week to fix what the problems are, offensively, defensively, and special teams wise. Well, what's what's everybody across the state of West Virginia, including the student body, doing to fix the fact that our players had to show up and play in front of 40,000 people? You know, we have a conference game coming up this week. You know, it's at noon. I, I can give you some excuses now. You know, playing a team that's two and three, well, they should be five and no. Playing, playing at noon, well, who cares? You know, look, it's just, you know, get up. Uh, man trips at 945. You know, are we going to have a good crowd or are we going to have nobody there? Is, is the weather going to be 85 and sunny or is it going to be 25 and snowing? Really doesn't matter because coaches and players and trainers and everybody else are going to be there. That's what our job is. So, you know.